the audience. Today, I want to present my presentation, but before I start my presentation, I want all of you to look at this picture. This is the picture of corn skin. This corn skin become waste on my house by the seller of roasted corn. That every day throw away for about 5 kilograms of skin of corn. That make a large number of flies in the space, less less savory, and can cause many diseases. And when the rain is coming, this skin of corn is carried by the rainwater into the drains that led to the flood. Besides the human races, there are fairy less in my neighborhood. This one waste become one big problem that must be solved immediately. On a day when I'm doing experiment in the school, I bring this corn skin and I'm discussing it with my biology teachers that what kind of substance contain in the skin of corn. And after we doing some research in the skin of corn contain hemicellulose, cellulose, and pigment, which implies there's also in the woods. This makes me inspired that it can be used as a board with some additional materials like part, like polyethylene and acetylene. I can use this corn skin because the raw material in the manufacture of particle board. Board is one of the primary needs that produced from the stem plant. Board is currently, it is difficult and expensive to be manufactured to focus the consumer needs. The big exploitation that happened in Indonesia made the woods become lost and made the flood and erosion coming. And the hottest issue that running in this era is global warming. <coughs> this thing has not become a trace in the ear of society, especially in our community, Indonesia. Because of this background, I have been inspired to give the title of my research and presentation today as Material from Genius. My name is Randy Rentanaka. I come from Medan Dr. Wajin Sudiro Sodo Junior High School. The problem formulation is how is the use of the corn skin becomes the raw material in the manufacture of particle board? My research purpose is to get a cheap, natural, efficient, and environmentally friendly particle board without using any harmful chemical substance as well as utilized waste. My research benefit is to utilize the organic waste of the corn skin becomes the raw material in the manufacture of particle board. According to the expert, corn comes from the central and the south of America. Corn is closely related to the tribe of Indians, which has made corn as a primary food since 10,000 years ago, based on history. Corn is one of the world's most important food crops, which contains carbohydrates, <coughs> fat, and protein, which became the staple ingredients. The taste is sweet savory. Almost everyone loves this plant food. You can see at the display, this is the substance composition in the skin of corn. There are heavy cellulose, cellulose, and lignin. This is the scientist classification of corn. Rectum, plantae, divisio, amniosperm, has monopopyledon, ordo pales, family pose, genus C, and the species Z maize. Polyphenol acetate is a synthetic rubber polymer. Polyphenol acetate is a polymer thermoplastic that has heat resistance high power of flexibility, as well as soluble in organic solvent. Polyphenol acetate are found in Germany by Dr. Fitlitz in 1912. The identification of polyphenol acetate is this. Equipment that we need to create this research methodology is this. And the materials that we need is this. The procedure are, first, Dry the skin of corn with using the oven in temperature of 150 degrees Celsius for about 60 minutes. The second phase is cutting into the small pieces with using the scissors. The third phase is blend it with using the blender for about 5 minutes until you get the soft fiber. The fourth phase is mix the polyphenol acetate with the water in comparison 7 compare 1 until you get the polyphenol acetate too. The fifth phase is mix the polyphenol acetate glue with the skin of corn that you have to blend in the basin. The sixth is pour it into the particle board mold, give it a press until it evenly. And the last phase is dry it with using the oven in temperature of 150 degrees Celsius for about 75 minutes. The result is, this is the picture review of particle board that are made from the corn skin. The corn skin can be used as a raw material for the manufacture of particle board. 
and we can use polyvinyl acetate as an adhesive. The flexibility of particle board that have identification like this have flexibility at width 10 kilograms. So the conclusion are first, the skin of corn can be used as a raw material for the manufacture of particle board because in the skin of corn contain this. And in polyvinyl acetate, there's resin or step. So it can be used as an adhesive to bind one particle into the other particle to create one panel of particle board. And now our place already become a clean place because there's no any waste around our place. Suggestion from me is let us use the waste that exists around us and create it into something that useful, precious, and can be used for all of the people in this world. The future work from me is first to get the particle book that has been completed, check it by Indonesian national standard. We completed this density, flexibility, shear, tension, and compression. The second is I could finish the problem that happened in my neighborhood <coughs> that the waste of corn skin that make the drain full led to the foot, make a smelly smell, and that can make many diseases. The third future work for me is, I hope my research can be useful in our the futures, and we can use it in our future daily life, and create it to something like cover or study desk, even wall. Okay, I think that's all about my presentation. Thanks for your attention.